What's going to guys? So I'm not sure what I titled and thumbnailed this video as, but it probably has something to do with having to take the truck back to the dealership, which we are having to do, unfortunately. Not looking forward to it. It's one of those things. Sometimes stuff like this happens. It's all about the response of it being brought to light. Another place that I have to go that I'm not looking forward to is the DMV. Hopefully they're going to be able to just swap my Trail Bosses tag, which was the same. It's not, this is just my OG tag. I had this on Baby Squat. I had this on the Trail Boss and I'm hopefully gonna have it on this truck. Uh, we'll see, because I didn't bring my paperwork where I sold the Trail Boss, and I think they're gonna have to have that for me to swap this tag. And then at 11 o'clock, I have an appointment in the window smacked. It's gonna make this thing look so much better. Just a black truck with black windows just completely changes the entire look of it, and I know it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna make the black and the chrome pop, and it's gonna be aggressive, and I'm not gonna be fishbowling, because let's be honest, it doesn't matter how cool the vehicle you are in, if you're fish bowling, it just feels wrong, right? So, anyways, we're about to pull up at the DMV, get that knocked out, and then uh, let's go see how the uh, how the dealership treats me. See how that goes. Well, I should have known. Of course, I need the bill of sale for selling the trail boss, so I can actually transfer this tag. Even though I didn't renew this, it should be expired. They still have to have it to ensure that they're both not on there. But since we're about to go to the dealership, I'll show y'all what the issue is. I'm sure you can already spot it what so i'm thinking there was some kind of little paint defect and they tried quickly buffing it out and they did a crap job as you can see excuse excuse the all the water spots but uh you can see the it stands out much more in person the lighting's kind of hard to get let's see there it is so yeah that's what they're gonna have to take care of because it looks really bad in person and as soon as i saw it i was like i'm never gonna be able to unsee it so they're gonna have to fix it so we're going back right now let them get it knocked out then we'll head to the tent shop and i gotta get my paperwork and then we'll be back here lovely 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 tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way all right guys well here we are let's hope they take care of us and it looks like they got a new at4 over there we'll probably check that out while they're working on the truck as you fade away as you fade away I dig the uh, two tones pretty cool all blacked out front end These things are dirty they're already sold. Got the high clearance boards on it, I dig it. The Denali Ultimate. Not crazy about the color in person, to be honest. The interior is insane. The interior is amazing. The brown's like a high country color. Look at the stitching. Oh, it's freaking sick. Got the composite bed. 83K on the window sticker. Pretty wild. Got the 22s. Do like this chrome on the uh, lower balance front camera with a little washer. These things are filthy, they just come off the train, I guess. 83,240. $83,000. I think I'm good with mine, but that interior is awesome. Fortunately, stop number two today went really smooth at the dealership. Got me in and out pretty quick. Mr. Greg, their detailer, got that fender polished up. Looks 110% better. Uh, I figured that's what the issue was. It just needed a good polish and um, there was some kind of defect and maybe it quickly got addressed and not really got the attention it needed. But thankfully now that flaw that has been driving me crazy is now gone. Just got done killing some time in uh, Harbor Freight. Pretty good looking shooby dooby actually got some gloves 100 gloves 10 bucks might as well keep me from being completely filthy working on the old trucks or touching the frame on this one but there she is looking beautiful stoked on that so i'm gonna go grab some grub we'll head down to the tent shop get smacked up Alright guys, 
so I know the whole spiel. You're not supposed to roll your windows down for like two, three days, right? You're supposed to let them sit in the sun and cure, right? I'm aware of this. I know this fully. I also know that it's $90 to get two front windows done and it's $200 for a tent ticket. And there has been a large amount of tent uh, cop presence today. So before I get onto the road, because I don't drive over here, I just get my windows tinted over here. Um, I'm going to roll my front windows down because I would prefer that they roll down and be fine and roll back up. I think they will, fingers crossed. But at the same time, they might mess up. But I'd rather risk 90 versus 200. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna roll down our front windows right now before we get on the road. Didn't hear anything bad. Okay, well, <laughs> they're rolled down. I'm gonna leave them down for a while. Let them cure inside the doors. And now I can, I can drive home without having to worry about anything. I don't get bothered at all where I live and work and stuff. But as soon as you come over here, they get you. Crazy windy today, which is also making me cry because I need to film a bunch of videos and the audio is going to be trash and y'all have been yelling at me to get a mic and I've got one on my Amazon account that I've, I'm debating. I just hadn't pulled the trigger on it yet. Alright, the moment of truth. We're going to roll the windows up and park it over there in the sun, let it cure. Come on, windows. Treat me right. Treat me right. Okay, we got away with the driver's side. Passenger, come on. Oh boy, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. Got the popped sunroof just for a little extra pizzazz. Dude, it looks so freaking sick. Thankfully, the front window's rolled up, no issues. This thing is screaming. First set of wheels and tires, dude. All in due time, all in due time. I wanna be quick, but I also wanna enjoy the process and not just skip through everything, so. Just a little bit of patience, y'all. But dude, it looks, oh my gosh, it makes the black look so freaking good. Hopefully I don't immediately get smoked, but it is what it is. Got the sub tag on. Finally, I spent literally longer there than I did at the tent shop, which blows my mind. Had one teller working at the DMV. Had like 20 people in front of me. It sucked. Got our little emblem off that corner. We gotta debadge the whole thing. These these guys right there, those those gotta go for sure. Unsure if I wanna have a completely naked rear tailgate. I got new emblems, um, some black and chrome, but I'm not sure if I wanna have it completely debadged or have the new emblems on there. So y'all let me know if you think it'd look better completely clean or with a fresh blacked out badge. But yeah, dude, looks so freaking good. I'm stoked. And I'm gonna have some comparison videos. I'm gonna leave it at that between this truck's tent and Chomper's tent. It's I think gonna be pretty interesting. But if you want an inside view, completely safe, totally 100% safe. Did not get the sunroof because uh, I wanted to be able to let some light in whenever I feel like I want to or need to. So left that naked, but everything else is just five. So it's five over the factory tent in the rear and then just five on the front and the brow, which I like how they got the brow that came all the way down to the bottom. Got a nice little curve in it, not a straight flat one. I really dislike when they like that. So yeah, dude, I'm stoked. I think it looks amazing. Another freaking windy day. Every freaking Friday when I go to film, it's just a hurricane coming through, which sucks. I'm gonna get a mic, y'all. I'm gonna get a mic. I see y'all in the comments screaming at me, but 
yep that's it i'm gonna pull it over to the sun hopefully try to film a video with chomper and clifford today finally get them two together um, and let this thing cure for a while so we'll see hopefully the wind doesn't fight me too bad but yeah definitely leave a like subscribe let me know what you think about the tent on here and what you're excited the most for to see on the 22 and y'all gotta name this thing but with that being said i'll see y'all in the next one Hello.